Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode from the Multi-Tools and Blades channel. Today we're going to be having a look at the Century Apollo CN91. The Century was a subsidiary of the Imperial Shade Corporation. It's made in Germany, finished in the USA in the early 90s. And just like the competition, they came in different thicknesses and different sizes. Now I think it's time to open it and have a look at what the actual tool is inside. We're lucky we still have the original box. Alrighty then. The first thing you notice that looks exactly like a Victorinox. And no surprise here, it's probably out of every single multi-tool I've got, this is probably the closest thing to a Victorinox copy that I've ever seen. This model here has exactly the same tool outlay as the Victorinox Huntsman, less the utility hook. The scales are exactly the same, nice deep red plastic. Can't really feel any difference. This one's obviously new in box, but there's a few little scratches on there. Most likely from polishing rather than actual use. Well, these are about the same price as a Victorinox. I think uh, Huntsman's going for about $30 US. Uh, these go for about $25. Obviously, these are not manufactured anymore. The genuine trade brand went bust about 20 years ago. All right, let's get it open. So first of all, we've got the cap lifter and large screwdriver. Looks familiar, doesn't it? There's no real surprise that it's a direct copy from Victorinox. It's no surprise that this is made for a particular market, riding on the coattails of others. And the same goes for the can opener. It's identical. I usually wouldn't be in the practice of supporting a company that can just completely straight up copies another, but the fact that this company no longer exists, I think it's safe to do that. Next we have the wood saw. Do you think it's going to be the same or different? <laughs> exactly the same. Well, at least it's nice and sharp, so for practicality use, it, you could still use this as a normal tool. It's not just a gimmick like some of those Chinese ones. In fact, if you told me that this came out of the Victorinox factory with someone else's name on it, I'd believe it. It just has that right feel about it. Next, we've got the scissors. Again, exactly the same. I almost feel disappointed that I'm showing you an, just a Victorinox huntsman and not something special. I haven't tried the scissors out, but I'm quite sure they cut just as well as the, uh, as the Victorinox. And now for something completely different. Just kidding. Exactly the same blade too. Tank stamp's different though. Here we go. ISC Stainless Germany. So ISC obviously stands for Imperial Shred Corp. Nothing on the reverse. Please be different, please be different, please be different. Nope, exactly the same. So most of my viewers come from the US. If someone out there, please tell me why you would buy something from made in Switzerland for a premium price than buy something cheaper that is manufactured or manufactured in Germany and assembled in the US. I'm curious to know. Well, now we're going to get to something a little bit off, which is the toothpick and the tweezers. You can see that both of them don't sit flush with the scales like you'd find in the Victorinox. They feel the same, they're obviously made from the same kind of material, they fit in just as well. Now these tweezers are definitely an improvement over the Victorinox ones. They remind me of the uh, Trade USA 940T model that I have. These are great little tweezers. They have quite a bit of spring in them compared to a Victorinox. It's about the same amount of resistance as a dedicated pair of tweezers. I think you get the point there, so I'm not going to keep going on about it. If you see one of these out in the market there, feel free to pick one up. Good to add to your collection. I want to talk about the corkscrew and the reamer. You get the point. Well, thanks for watching once again. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to give me a comment down below if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe if you can, and I'll catch you all next time.